I'm Brianna and I'm here at the 2012 Pumper and Cleaner Expo. I'm here with Tom Denham with WasteQuip. Tom, can you tell us about the product you have here on the show floor? Yeah, we have on the show floor this year a WasteQuip 25-yard vacuum container. Uh, the vacuum container we've had uh, designed for a long time, but we actually did a redesign. But the way the vacuum container works is it works in conjunction with a vacuum truck and it saves the vacuum truck from having to be moved off-site uh, every time the tank is full. So you can pump directly from the tank into the vacuum container. Uh, that way the expensive vacuum truck can keep working. So it makes it a lot easier for the, for, for the operator of the truck to, to keep that thing going. And what are some of the new features on the tank? Uh, what we did was when we redesigned the waste quit vacuum container, we went to a, a simpler uh, chain and ratchet design on the door. Um, the, the vacuum container is still all quarter inch steel, but we we really just simplified the back door. Uh, we've got ratchets here. Um, we've got ratchets right here. The other things we did to the waste quit vacuum container was we went to a tea gasket. Some of our plants used a different style gasket, but the tea gasket is a lot better because it's a little thicker and it's it lasts longer. It's not easily ripped. Um, it doesn't get uh, messed up with, with certain types of uh, products, chemical products. Um, some of the other things we did was we went to a slammer latch, which is great for the customers that are having to operate this container. When they go to slam the door, the container goes into this latch here and then drops down into here. So now they don't have to try to force the door or put, pull the door, and then they can just start to ratchet it down, ratchet the binders on the back door, and then go to the other side. So it just makes it uh, a lot more user friendly for, for the operator. Another nice feature about the waste quit vacuum container is we've added uh, push plates on the front. The nice thing about this is if an operator gets the vacuum container in a position where it needs to be pushed backwards, they can push against these plates and not tear up the skin of the vacuum container, which is not a good thing if you would poke a hole into the skin. So these take the, take the hit for that and then they can place it wherever they want it. It just makes it a lot easier uh, for the operator. I also see that you have ramps here on the show floor. Can you tell me a little bit about those? Yeah, we designed a, a ramp to work in conjunction, in conjunction with a dewatering container or a sledge container, an open top sledge container. And the way the ramps work is uh, the vacuum truck can now back up onto these ramps, which is roll-off compatible. Um, so they can the, the customer can use the roll-off truck to move this around, but they can back this the truck up on the ramps and then dump into the uh, sludge container or the the waste quip dewatering container, uh, which makes it uh, you know you know before they would have to dump on the ground or if they didn't have a high vac, um, you know they would be forced to figure some other way to get the contents out of the vacuum truck into the container. So with this, it just makes it, it solves the problem. They can back up on it. They can you know release the contents into the container and uh, makes it much easier. And where can we find out more information about these products and other products from WasteQuip? Uh, you can go to our website at uh, www.wastequip.com and there's a section in there for environmental products um, and you can find out there. And there's also a link uh, to email uh, our sales department and ask for more information. Thanks, Tom. Okay, you're welcome.